So far, my own patients and the ID group as a whole, which is over 1,400 patients now, uh, the results are, are really excellent. The smaller the incision, clearly the less you see at the very edges of the exposure. So the more you know about the anatomy and the more experience you have with a particular surgical technique, the less you need to see. The method of exposure Dr. Murphy has chosen for today's patient is a modified direct lateral approach, similar to that described by Dr. Hugh Chandler. What you can see now with an anterior superior retractor, a blunt Hohmann retractor on the lesser sciatic notch pulling the femur posteriorly, and a cobra retractor just deep to the rectus tendon anterior inferiorly, it gives you the entire acetabular exposure with the anterior labrum here, superior labrum here, and posterior labrum here. And then it's extremely important to put the liner in by hand to make sure that it's fully seated. It's very simple to do by hand, and it's very important to fully seat it with your fingers before you hit it with an impactor. When you switch from a standard offset to an increased offset, it's nice to just go straight lateral rather than changing the neck angle. Changing the neck angle is a little bit confusing because you're changing your leg length and your offset at the same time. If you just go plus six or plus eight lateral, you know you're not changing leg length, you're only improving offset. And uh, designing an implant that just goes straight sideways I think is a better way to go. Overall, combining uh, low wear bearings such as aluminum ceramic bearings, decreasing the size of the incision, and improving the precision of the surgery with image guidance, I think I have a greater confidence that every single patient will have the right size implants that are in the right position and with the right tissue tension and leg length.